Now, here's the biggest handling mistake of all. Too many cattle stuffed in the crowd pen. This is the number one handling mistake. If I could get people to put the hot shots away and fill the crowd pen only half full, you're gonna have greatly improved handling. When they get all stirred up like this and they're all milling around and stuck together, there's no way you can have good handling. Why are the cattle doing this? Again, this is another anti-predator behavior. And it's an anti-predator behavior that you don't want your animals doing because they're upset and scared when they're doing this. It's called shelter-seeking behavior. And the interesting thing about this is your dominant animals will be in the middle of the group where they're going to be safest from the predators. But don't let your cattle get to this point because once you get cattle excited, it takes 20 to 30 minutes for the heart rate to return to normal. It takes half an hour for them to calm back down. You get them all excited, it'd be a real good idea to just go take a coffee break, wait for them to calm down, and then work them. Here's a crowd pen being used correctly. Notice not filled up all the way. Also notice the crowd gate is not stuffed up tight against the cap. People do too much pushing with crowd gates. In a round crowd pen, I like to put the crowd pen on the first notch and then you just go ahead and you, you uh, get your cattle to go into the chute. If the cattle do not go up the chute easily, then you need to figure out why. They may be seeing a chain, they may be balking at a backstop, they may be seeing a person. Now notice here they're just using little sticks to get the cattle in, little sticks with flags on them. In fact, what they're using is broken electric prod ends. That's a real good use for them. They work really well. I like them much better broken than, uh, than working and uh, just put a little piece of plastic on the end. And you can use that little piece of plastic to guide your animal. People often get way too excited with that piece of plastic and go shh, and shake it at the cattle way too hard and get them excited. Just use it to guide them. Notice that your guy in front there, the guy who has the purple shirt on, he is backed up out of the flight zone and he's got his flag on the ground. Because if you hold the flag up in front of the cattle, you know, that's gonna make them balk. And Notice, most of the time, if cattle handle easily, you don't need to use the crowd gate. I like to look at the crowd gate as being the emergency brake. Most of the time, you don't need it. The only time you need to use it is you might get one or two really bad, you know, wild animals, and then you can swing the crowd gate around and, and push them up the chute with it. But most of the time, you just don't want to use it. And you might be wondering, why does this round crowd pen work well? Well, this design works well because as the cattle come into the round crowd pen and they go around the circle, they think they are going back to the yards. In fact, a round crowd pen laid out like this one works a lot better than one that just goes straight through because as they come around the corner, they think they're going back. This just shows another picture of a little um, whip with some plastic streamers on the end and just use that to quietly guide your animals. The plastic paddle sticks, they also work really well too. Now you want to try to work the animals more from the front of the pen. We need to get away from constantly pushing and shoving up from the back. And this is true both in crowd pens and in a feedlot pen or maybe a ranch corral pen. So he's just working up there from the front and he can work that flight zone. He can sort of step back and forth like this to speed up the cattle or slow down the cattle. 